Good day everyone, Mr. Card you're here with the next AutoCAD video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to construct the mecha this mechanism right here for this crank OA. Alright, as point P makes one revolution. Now the instructions here says that the crank OA right here revolves in a clockwise direction about O. So this arrow shows the direction and O is the center right here so it moves in a clockwise direction about O and B is constrained to move backwards and forwards along the horizontal line through O so B is right here B can't go up or down can't go diagonally either it can only go forwards or backwards alright it says that we're supposed to plot the locus of P this point here for one revolution of OA so when OA makes one revolution from here goes around back to this point we're supposed to plot the locus for P alright and it says that AB equal 130 so from here to here is 130 it says that AP equals 60 so from here to here is 60 and AO is 40 millimeters so the radius of this circle is 40 alright so we have all the information we need so let's start the drawing Alright, so let's select the circle. Alright. And just ensure that click that drop down arrow, ensure that you have center radius turned on. Alright, and I'm gonna type 40 and press enter. So this is my circle. The next thing I'm going to do is to divide my circle into 12 equal parts. So just click on the drop down arrow right here beside object snap. Ensure that you have quadrant turned on right here. Alright. So now let me just select a line and draw a line from this point here right to the center down to this next point here and that little diamond should pop up once you have quadrant turned on this is the diamond here and I'm also going to draw a line to the center as well alright so I just divided the circle into four so I'm going to click on these two points I'm going to type array and I'm going to select a polar array it says specify center point of array so I want the center to be here so ensure that you have midpoint turned on in object snap as well alright so this is my center here and just like that my circle is divided into 12 equal parts so now I'm just going to number the I'm just going to go about numbering each point alright and for that I'm going to select text I'm going to click on multi-line text if you have watched any of my previous videos you know how to go about with the text and labeling and numbering so if that's the case you can skip the numbering if you so please but if not you can um, observe how the numbering is done so i just click a place to start right here and then just select a little create like a little box and click again and now i'm going to type zero all right this is a bit small i want to make it about twice the size i'm going to click on it and, and i'm going to type scale s c a l e I want to make it twice the size so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to type 2 and press enter I don't think I pressed the right number while ago. so let me undo that yeah so let me click on this and type scale click on that again and type 2 and press enter and there we go so now I'm going to move that from there I'm going to bring it over here Alright, let me just turn off object snap because I don't want it to snap to the edge of the line. Bring it about there. And the reason why I bring it there is because as you can see right here, zero is actually this point here. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do now. I am going to copy this for all the other points. And let's click here. Copy it from here to here. And I do, I'm do. i doing this because zero and O is the same. Um, Zero, sorry, zero and A are the same point. Alright, so there, there. I'm just um, putting this zero at all these points, and then I'll go back and change the value, which for me seems easier than having to um, just create a different num box every time I'm drawing a number or something like that. But if you find uh, doing that easier then you can do that as well so let me change that to a change this to one
and we're numbering all the way to 11 and even though it has 12 points we number to 11 because it starts at 0 and ends at 11 all right? so that's why you'll end up with like it's 12 points but the largest number is always going to be 11 and not 12 because 12 if there was a 12 it would be the same point as 0 all right so that's 5 this is 6 7 is here this is 8 Finally, number 11. Alright, so from here, the next thing we're going to do is to select a line and from point 8 here, let me turn on back object snap and turn on ortho right here. I'm going to bring this line out because point B will be somewhere on this line. So th there is no specific measurement, um, no specific length for this line. Let me bring it out about here. Alright, and it says that from O to from A to B is 130 right here A B is 130 and A P is 60 all right so to find point B this is what we're going to do find to find point B I'm going to select a circle and I'm going to click on point A here you could use an arc for this but using a circle is easier at least for me let me just change this color and make it a bit darker all right and select the circle from here and I'm going to make the, the radius 130 I don't know why that did that all right so i'm going to make the center of the circle right here at a or point zero and and i'm going to make this circle 130 and the reason why i'm going to make the circle 130 is because um from a to b is 130 so let me type 130 and press enter all right so that means that this point right here is point B. All right, so let me copy this. I'm gonna copy it here. Let me turn off ortho for a minute. Bring that there for point zero, sorry, for O, and this is B. So let me change the value of this to B. And the center is O. All right, there we go. All right, so now, we are going to find point P and it says that from A to P is 60 so I'm going to do this to, f to find point P I'm going to select a line from B right here and I am going to bring this to A right here and that is 130 so we know that that's correct so to find P since P is 60 and 130 plus 60 would be 190 from here I'm just going to type 190 so I don't click anything, I just bring my cursor here, type 190 and press enter. And there we have it. So this right here would be point P. So let me just copy this for a minute. Bring it out to here. And there we have point P. Alright. So once we have that, we can do the same thing that we did to find point P here. To find it for all the other points so we're going to click on this circle now i'm going to move this cir the circle the center of the circle would be here so i'm going to click here to move the circle from the center and i'm going to move it from zero to one all right so now once that is done so this point here would be where the line from that goes through point one would start so let me just select a different color i'm going to use different colors so that we don't get confused but if you were doing this in like class for a classwork or for a test or an exam you know that you would use um just the correct um color all right so from here i'm gonna draw this line to one all right just like we did for a just bring it to one and type 190 and press enter so that's our second point for p the next one let me use yellow so oh, before i do that let me move the circle from you can just type m for move Alright, so I'm going to move the circle from here and bring it to 2 
right here right i'm gonna select a line i seem to have two circles here oh no that's the line okay okay so this is the circle there we go okay nice all right so from here to here and then we type 190 good and we are going to do the same thing for the rest of them all right so move from two to three good and then let me select a different color for this one green select a line or just type l and as you can see the line from three the, the point right here is the same point that goes through one all right so this would be right here and type 190 all right so now i can move this from three to four and the point from four would be the same as the point from one let me see yeah because b is right here and that's the same part we're going to use for point four so this goes to four so bring that to four there and type 190 enter and we're just doing this for all all our points going back all the way to to zero all right so before i draw that line let me move this type just can just press m for move and i'm gonna move it from four to five since we're at five now all right so now let me select a line and draw a line from here bring it to five and type 190 all right and then we're just going to continue so we are basically halfway through so now let me just move this circle from here from five to six here and i can change that blue line to a magenta line and i can draw a line from here through six bring it to six here and press 190 there we go all right and i can move the circle again from six to seven all right um let me select a white line for seven and no, i don't want to use white let me use red all right so let me select a red line for seven and bring that to seven here and type 190 all right so that brings us to number eight all right, so let me just move this circle from seven to eight all right and then select our next line yellow draw this line from here uh, i'm not going to use yellow for eight because this right here is already yellow so it would look um, a bit confusing so let me use white here bring it to eight here and type 190 all right good so now we know that point eight is right there all right nice so the next one now is nine so i'm gonna click on that so let's move move this from eight to nine lovely and then let me just go back to red uh no use red for seven so let me use the yellow over here all right so from here to nine all right and type 190 there we go click on that select move move it from nine to ten so from this point here to this point right here use a different color green select a line move it from here draw a line from there sorry bring it to 10 that point and type 190 enter lovely um click on that circle move it from 10 to 11 which is our last point right there then let me select a different color cyan select a line draw the line from here bring it to 11 
untype 190 so here we have it all right so now the next thing we're going to do is to plot the points so we already plotted the points we're, just, we're not just going to um, line them up so we're going to do that by using spleen or spline right here S P L I N E. so just type that and press enter and for that I'm going to use white so that we don't get confused all right sorry not line yeah and there we go all right so the first point now is here so we're just clicking on the end of these lines so point one is a red line point two is a yellow line point three is a green line this is where the, the colors um, become important four is cyan five is blue six is magenta i think seven was red all right yes seven is red eight was white nine was yellow ten is green eleven is cyan and then p and then press spacebar and there we have it all right and as you can see it's just as it should be right there is what we have right here all right so that's how you would do the locus for that mechanism so thanks for watching and i do hope you found the video helpful if you did find the video helpful please subscribe for more technical drawing and autocad content thanks for watching and do have a great day